Hi, I'm Taylor Figueroa from Harmony Schools. In this video, I am going to show and explain how my project Plastic Llama at Plastic Go Away works. The purpose of this experiment is to show if plastic can be separated from sediment once combined. To start off your project, you will need the following materials. Please note that in this experiment, acetone will be worked with. While not a corrosive chemical, acetone is not meant to be inhaled and can cause headaches and irritation to eyes and skin if exposed for too long. Now, cue the action. The results of my project were not close to my hypothesis. Originally, I thought the pure plastic molds would dissolve almost immediately, while the synthetic plastic glomerates would take a while to dissolve. Since normal styrofoam takes less than 30 seconds to degrade, and these molds take about 2 minutes and 11 seconds, the molds took at least 4.367 times longer. I think the reason that neither mold types were dissolved is because a new substance insoluble to acetone was formed through a chemical reaction between polystyrene and acetone. You see, the reason polystyrene itself is able to be dissolved in acetone is because the majority of polystyrene is filled with air. The gooey substance formed by the possible chemical reaction, especially when hardened because the substance becomes a solid. Solids have closer atoms, more intact, that are harder to break apart. I hardened this substance in order to make the synthetic rocks and pure plastics, and it turned out that the plastic itself made the original process irreversible, leaving the question about the sediment unanswered completely. By looking at the end results of both the pure plastics and the plastic glomerates, I think they would both dissolve at the same rate, though. This result is very disappointing to me. For the, my English component of my PBL project, I wrote a narrative about how I came to think of this experiment. I remember looking through news articles online one day when I ran into this article about the plastic glomerate, a mixture between natural sediment and man-made plastic. And that's where my social studies component comes in. I wrote about how humans produce too much trash and it's just taking over the world. It's even getting into our rock cycle and we're making our own error some scientists called the Anthropocene. I was hoping that maybe this project would show a way to separate bet between man-made and natural substances, but it completely failed and instead just supported the idea of how hard man-made substances are to degrade away. While acetone is not an enzyme, this experiment sums up how plastic is nearly unaffected by biodegradation. Anyways, thanks for watching Harmony Schools.